What are the qualities of an ideal client? I've got those for you today on this episode of the Inside BS Show. Hi, it's Dave Lorenzo, and today I'm sharing with you the qualities of an ideal client. That's right, this is what you've been asking for. You asked me for this video, and I'm gonna share it with you today. I've got six qualities of an ideal client for you, and then I've got a word of caution for you. At the end of the video, you're not gonna wanna miss it, so stay with me all the way to the end. And of course, I'm giving you the opportunity to get a free gift from me. I'm gonna share that with you in just a couple of minutes. So let's dive right in. Number one, the number one quality of an ideal client is that they're qualified. They're qualified to work with you. What does this mean? They have three things. It means they have a problem you can solve. They have the ability to make a decision on whether or not you're going to get hired. They can commit their company to working with you and they have the money to pay you. They have money, they have a problem you can solve and they have the ability to make a decision. Those are qualities of an ideal client, aren't they? That's step one, they're qualified. And I have a dozen videos here on the YouTube channel that will help you qualifying your clients. And we'll link to a couple of those videos up in this video. We, we will put a link um, here, we'll put a link up here to one of those videos that will help you qualify clients so that you know whether they're qualified to work with you or not. That's step one. Step number two, with you, the work they do with you, they have to either make money or save money or reduce their risk or all three. They have to make money, save money or reduce risk in their work with you. You see, these are qualities of an ideal client for a professional service provider. That's what you are. You're a lawyer, you're a CPA, you're a financial advisor, you're a consultant. Maybe you're a professional speaker who wants to add consulting to his or her portfolio. And with you, your clients have to make money, save money, reduce risk. Those are the three key takeaways. So you have to look for an ideal client base that makes those three things, as many of them as, as you can. If, if you can do all three, that's wonderful, but it has to be just at, at least one. You have to have at least one. Your ideal client has to get benefit from you in at least one of those three areas. The third quality of an ideal client is they have multiple needs you can address. Right now, I'm working with a CPA firm. They're a big CPA firm, and they help people renounce their citizenship in a specific country. This country has very high taxes. People are leaving this country, and in order to save money on their taxes, wealthy people will renounce their citizenship in this country. That practice is, only, is the only thing they're gonna do for these people. That's, the, that's all they're gonna do for these folks is help them renounce their citizenship and then they're gone. That's not a great consulting practice. Why? Because there's very little value beyond the initial work matter, beyond the initial matter that, they, that they're doing. So you need to have multiple areas where you can help your client, multiple areas where you can work with your client. That's a huge quality of an ideal client. Number four, the fourth quality of an ideal client is they have a large network that they can connect you to. I'm working with several professional services firms, two law firms in particular, that are members of numerous organizations, national and international organizations. And these firms have connected me to these organizations that they're a member of. And I do speaking engagements for them, I do webinars for them, I uh, send them content for their website, for their newsletters. My ideal clients help me grow my business by connecting me with other people, referring me to other people who can give me more business. That's a huge quality of an ideal client. I look for that in my client relationships now. Look, if they don't have it and they still have all the other qualities, I will still work with them, but that's a big quality and I wanna make sure that my ideal clients have that quality. Number five, your ideal client must value you as a partner. They must look at you as a peer. They must see you as an expert in a specific area. So 
when we talk about qualities of an ideal client, your ideal clients have to think that you, you are the go-to person, the number one person for this specific area, for your area of expertise. Your ideal clients have to believe that's true of you. If they do, they're perfect. So the way you meet your ideal clients will set this up for you. For example, if your ideal client came to you as a result of a speaking engagement, they've seen you up on a stage, they've seen you delivering an educational presentation, they know that you're qualified, they look at you as an expert, that's what you're looking for. So in order for your ideal client to view you as a peer, the way you're introduced to him or her is critical. If the person who sells copiers to them introduces them, it might not be as valuable as them coming to you after a speaking engagement and saying, everything you said at the speaking engagement resonated with me, I wanna work with you. So set yourself up to succeed. Make sure your ideal clients view you as a peer. Number six, a good marketing plan can add value to your relationships as somebody who's looking to meet an ideal client. So a good marketing plan is critical. You must have a good marketing plan because you need to make sure that you're only speaking to people who are just like your ideal client. So that's number six, and I've got a gift for you along those lines. I wanna give you access to the Revenue Roadmap. That is my marketing plan template for people who are looking to connect with ideal clients. All you need to do is scroll down the description of this video right below it. There'll be a link that says free gift from Dave. Click on that link. That will give you access to my Revenue Roadmap workbook. We're, we're putting that up on the screen right now. You'll see the Revenue Roadmap right there on your screen and you're gonna get access to the workbook that teaches you how to build this as a marketing plan. This is going to help you get in front of your ideal clients. It's gonna make all the difference in the world and I'm giving it to you for free. Please take me up on that offer. Okay, there's one thing I need to caution you about. Before I do that, I wanna make sure you do me a favor. In the comments, let me know what you wanna hear more of. Let me know what, you, what videos you want me to make more of. I got this video from comments on another video that said, hey, listen, can you help us uh, determine the qualities of an ideal client? Sure I can, I'd love to make that video for you. So down in the comments, let me know what videos you want me to make. If you like what you're hearing today, hit the thumbs up and please subscribe. If you subscribe, then you'll be notified when we share new videos just like this and I don't want you to miss a thing. All right, the one thing I need to caution you about is that the key to this is execution. The plan by itself is fantastic, but it's only good if you act on it. So follow the step-by-step -step guide that I've shared with you. Look for the qualities that I've given you today in this video. Download the Revenue Roadmap. Implement it immediately because your success is dependent upon your ability to follow this guidance and execute it. My name is Dave Lorenzo. I'm here every day with a great video just like this. We also do interviews. Make sure you check out my interviews where I speak with people who are doing exactly what you wanna do. They're building professional services practices. Join me back here again tomorrow. Until then, here's hoping you make a great living and live a great life.